five. This is interesting. Cobb County parents have been notified by the district that April 8th of next year will be an early release day. It's also the day after their spring break. So the district says they're doing so due to the total solar eclipse that will be crossing our country that day. But parents, they're a little confused as the eclipse doesn't seem to totally be passing through Georgia. Apollosero is digging for answers tonight. Yeah, why? <laughs> Greg Stewart has one question. That's what I want to know. After receiving this email from Cobb County Schools, in it, the district says students across all levels will be released early Monday, April 8th, due to a solar eclipse crossing North America. Especially the elementary kids who've never experienced this before, or maybe the middle school kids. None of that makes any sense to me. This is an opportunity to learn. According to NASA, the total solar eclipse will not pass directly over Georgia, but we might notice the sky get briefly dimmer. It's ridiculous. When I grew up in school, School. It was a science day and you, they set up all the stuff and, and you got to watch the eclipse go across the pavement. In a statement, Cobb County Schools tells 11 Alive that while a solar eclipse can be memorable and educational, looking directly at it can damage a student's eyes. While the director of the Emory Planetarium, Erin Wells Bonning, says that is one safety concern with eclipses, she says this is the perfect opportunity for children to learn. Often schools will make a big event of it, and I think that's what happened in a lot of school systems in 2017, where they would have have eclipse shades or special projectors to project the eclipse. I'm not sure why you would close school for that unless to give students and their families an opportunity to really focus on it. Bonning says Georgia will see a partial eclipse where anywhere from 70 to 85% of the sun will be covered by the moon both April and October 14th of this year. The school district adds that it notified parents with ample time so that they can make the best health decisions for their children. Bonning recommends parents still make this a learning experience. There's no other safety concern other than looking at the sun with an unprotected eye. So you can see hundreds of partial eclipses in the shade of leaves, or you can take a kitchen colander and, and use that to project the eclipse. In Cobb County, Paul Lucero, 11 Alive News.